Well, today we're going to cook ribs. But first, I want to show off my new cutting board my buddy Heath made me. I'll tell you, check out this website and get your name on the list because he is one fine craftsman. All right, what you're going to need is three racks of ribs. Now, these are prairie fresh, all natural. And if you can find ribs with this kind of marbling, you better stock up, put them in the freezer. Now, this old thin floppy end down here, we're going to get rid of it because it's just going to burn up quicker than the rest of it. And we don't need it. So we're going to throw it over here in the stockpile. I want to do a little experiment today and uh, with a membrane. So we're going to pull this membrane right here. And I'm going to give it to you in real time to show you how easy it is. You don't need a knife or a spoon or nothing like that. Just find you an edge with a paper towel. Pull it off. I mean, what'd that take? Maybe 10 seconds? Woo! Not that hard. Alrighty. There you have it. That's what it looks like. For the second rack, we're just going to take a tip of a knife and we're going to score that membrane in a cross hatch pattern, kind of like this. For the third one, go ahead and tell you, we ain't going to do crap. We're just going to leave it on there. Oh, my wife probably won't get mad because I said that. Anyway, for seasoning, we're going to start out with our Heath Riles garlic jalapeno. We're going to go with a light to medium coat of that one. And then we're going to come back with some mojo beef. Beef is just not for beef in my world. Uh, we're going to start out with a savory note. And we put these on the smoker. There you have it. We're going to let these things sit here and sweat for about 10 minutes. And we'll come back and they should look like this. Now, I can tell you just a little bit of difference in what they look like from the no membrane to the membrane. Flip them. Repeat that process. And there you have it. Three racks. Some good looking ribs. Okay, hurry up, bud. That's enough. All righty. Give her the snort test. Make sure you use enough rub and that way the haters can be like oh it's going to be salty i don't care all right we're cooking here on the outlaw today with that fogo charcoal with cherry wood see this is what i mean by sweating in look at the color on those pretty amazing we're gonna get them on always when you're cooking ribs lay them straight because that's the way they're gonna cook and push them together to plump them up so it'll be nice and fat and juicy once we get them on all we're gonna do shut this thing down for about two hours we're gonna be running needle straight up 300 degrees that's the way my outlaw likes to run about 30 minutes in we are going to start spritzing we're going to spritz with water just to keep that top nice and moist not drying out there we have it after about two hours you're looking at something like this not too shabby for a keyboard Cowboy, nope, cowboy, nope, keyboard cook. Ha, <laughs> look here. If you can tell me the difference in which one has the membranes, which one don't, just leave me a comment below, and I'll tell you if you're right. Now, for the wrap, we're going to start out with Heath Riles new competition rub. Now, this pairs well with Mojo Barbecue. If you ask me how I know, look at that apple back there in the back. So we're going to go with a coat of that. We're going to do a little bit of spicy honey. Then we're going to throw those ribs down. Pick off any of those little black, unwanted, bloody, whatever they are, and uh, hit it with that Mojo Barbecue. See, we're starting to sweeten things up here, kind of like me. Hit it with a little more honey. This is where you're going to go in and find yourself a good quality butter and put about two-thirds of a stick. Now, you can use bucket butter. I just thought I'd change things up a little bit. All right, let's get her wrapped up. Now, that's not all that's going in there. You know, you do need some moisture, you know, just to keep these things nice and tender. And that's going to be cherry wine today, a nice cherry soda. We're going to put about four ounces in each wrap. And there you have it. That's all that's going into this wrap. And it's going to be delicious. So take these. We're going to run them back out to the smoker. Mojo tip of the day. If you'll take the time to clean those racks before you put those ribs back on, good possibility that aluminum foil will not stick let's shut that down we're going to go for about an hour to hour and 20 minutes a lot of it depends on your temperature until that probe goes in like butter or it's a reading about 207 degrees sorry i cut it out of the shot there but you get the get the drift four man cambro time stick them in there we're gonna let these babies go 
while I go and shoot a Mojo Burger video, go check out that channel for about an hour. Now, that hour's up, and we're going to take these ribs, pour that juice over our next stockpile with those spare parts. Look at these babies. You know which one those are? Nice, tender, but yet not falling apart. They look pretty good, too. I ain't going to lie. Second rack, see, that's the one with the scored membrane. Don't look much, much more different than the one with no membrane. And there you have it. Three racks of ribs, the other wrap, nice and pretty, and ready for some finishing. Now, we're going dry rub on this rack, but we're just going to hit both sides with a nice little light coat of Mojo Barbecue. And I do like to go back on the grill for about, eh, about three to five minutes. You don't have to if you don't want to. They're ready to eat just as they are. Now, if you want sauce, this right here is a pretty good combination, just so you know. Five minutes later, there you have it. Now, tell me that's not pretty wreck. If it's not a pretty wreck, let me know in the comments and I'll tell you you're a liar. Alrighty, it's time to cut these babies up. This one here has the membrane on it. And you can kind of tell with my dull knife that this is the one that's got the membrane. But look, juicy is not the word. All right, let's take a bite just to see if my flavor profile who is correct and boy it is and i'm not acting there these ribs are that good probably some of the best ribs i've had in a long time scored membrane we're gonna cut that baby up and yeah. it's just as juicy as that other one and uh deserves a dance also man just look these ribs I'm telling you how to put some sauce on these and turn them in at a comp any day here's our last rack that's no membrane as you can tell it cuts very easy. Once again, look at that moisture. Look at that color. Look at that smoke ring. Now let's give them all the bite test. Hmm. There you go. One clean bite. Very good rib. Very good. Juicy. Flavorful. All right. And it just breaks right off when you pull it. For the next test, hmm, we're going to go with the one with the membrane. Let's see how it bites. You know, a lot of people say it's chewy and tough. But I beg to differ. If you do it like I did, that membrane was quite soft, and it really wasn't a bad bite. Eh, it does break off just a little bit harder because of that membrane. But man, it's still dang good. And all we like is this one over here, and it's really nothing to it. And it's going to be like the other ones, and still juicy and tender, and I amaze myself sometimes. So when it comes down to it, membrane, no membrane, Really, it's all up to you. In a comp, no membrane. In home, you do you, Sherlock. Oh, don't forget, we gotta try one with that sauce. Huh. Mighty fine, mighty fine. Alrighty. Well, that's it for today. You know what? I appreciate you. We're gonna do a little twisty right here and let you know that Mojo is out.